All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's first start off with this Silverstein ligature that I ordered off of Amazon. It was $85 instead of the $140, but guess what? They sent me the wrong size. So this is not the one that fits the small metal tenor sax mouthpiece. So this is going back. I'm going to save this for a full dedicated video. I'm just going to buy it from the regular place for like $140 because now I don't trust Amazon. If you do something like this from Amazon, make sure that you know the difference between getting store credit and getting a refund. They tricked me the last time. Okay, so this is going back. Sorry. All right, what's up, everybody? So today we're going to go over some more saxophone products or saxophone related products. I'm starting right here because I got this blue screen that you see behind me. This is actually two sheets that I have here. I did not order this online. I didn't go to some special like video shop or anything like that. I got this at Walmart. This is Cobalt Blue. This is really, really good for those of you because we live in modern times and we have high definition camera phones. A lot of us do recording. You want to do some special effects. You can pick up something like this at Walmart and this Cobalt Blue is fantastic. It's actually better than using green as a green screen if you're going to be pretty close to it. As you can see, I'm very close to it, but still I need to actually be further away from it so it doesn't make my hair look all weird. But if you are further away from the actual blue screen or green screen, you might want to pick up an actual green screen. If you use a green screen like this up close, you're going to get a lot of bleed and it's not going to key out very well. I picked this up at Walmart. Also, this black here, another one that I picked up at Walmart, save you guys a lot of money. Eventually, you will want to get actual like blue and green screen stuff. I still had to get those posts that it sits on with the rods and all of that kind of stuff. The most important thing that you want to actually do is focus on lighting. The better you invest in lighting, the more all this stuff is going to just look better. You don't even really need that special of a camera or some super high definition thing if you have really good lighting. And you're probably only going to find that at a dedicated video store or online. I've been trying to go to like brick and mortar stores, Best Buy, and Walmart, and this kind of stuff. Nope. Okay. Speaking of all that background noise, you also want to pick yourself up one of these. When I actually get the ones that I want, then I'll go into a little more detail in the videos about them. Also with the lights, I have some pretty average lighting that's here. It's pretty decent. This is a pretty well lit room when it's too hot outside. So I got to come in this hot room and do all of that. So let's get to some more saxophone oriented products. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you definitely do not want to be without something like this. This is just a mini screwdriver set. I am in the process of looking to get my own Cervalor Sax screwdriver, mini screwdriver kit going. I don't know when that's going to happen or how long it's going to take to get my own customized ones. It has my name and insignia and stuff on it, but I am definitely looking into that. You can pick up this stuff really cheap costs around maybe 10 to 20 dollars depending on how much money you want to spend definitely a must have for your saxophone also remember these this here is a metronome make sure that if you do get a metronome one like this if it's a pocket size one very convenient you're off somewhere and you want to practice make sure it has a headphone jack now today a lot of headphones don't have wires a lot of phones don't have the headphone jack anymore. So I'm assuming that if you get just a purely dedicated metronome like this, that it has Bluetooth or something like this. So be on the lookout for something like that. I have a phone, I have an iPad. So there's a lot of really cool software. One of my favorites is um, Tonal Energy Tuner. I paid around five bucks for it, but I'm gonna look to see if there's an update on that one. And if I was looking for an endorsement from anyone, it would probably be them. But all the stuff that I'm showing you, I am not endorsed by any of them. I paid for all this stuff out of pocket. This is stuff that I just have and use that I haven't had a chance to show you yet. Like this thing here. This is a leak 
light. Now, I was cheap and decided to get one of the cheaper ones on Amazon. You can pick this thing up for around $9. It has a switch here that turns the light on. It has a USB plug. However, this does not have an internal battery, so it does not charge. So it has to be plugged in when you're using it. Now, if you have a dedicated work area that has outlets and whatnot, this isn't really a problem. But I thought maybe I could just charge this thing up, but no. The really cheap ones aren't like that. Okay, I want to show you guys this. This is just a ring box. You can pick up a bunch of these. They come in packs on Amazon. They're all pretty cheap. This is like a velvety uh, David Jones. My name is David Jones. <laughs> but it's a nice feeling plush type of thing. Open this up and inside. This is removable. I like this a lot. I have some expensive ligatures and I can put it inside of this thing close it up, put it in my pocket. I do have a ligature on its way. I think it's going to be probably too dark for me to complete this video today when it shows up. But like I said before, if you've been following me with this tenor sax and the mouthpiece that I got off of Amazon, I picked up this Amazon mouthpiece that was unplated for around $19. <laughs> I sent it off to my guy to go have this thing gold plated. So the gold plating is a silver plating and then a gold plating on top of that. I love this mouthpiece. It's now my favorite mouthpiece. And I'm putting the finishing touches on it by having this really good ligature to go along with it. After I pick up this ligature, I'm going to make the final adjustments to the mouthpiece. And then I'll be set to go with that. I'll show you the current state of this mouthpiece uh, when I get the ligature and I play through it. I will go over some pros and cons about doing it the way that I did it. And then I'll give you some advice on a better way to do it so you don't run into these issues. Okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, is something that you guys probably won't have a whole lot of use for. But for me, being a YouTuber, a product reviewer, I like to weigh mouthpieces on this because this is basically just a scale. You guys are very interested in how heavy some of these products are, whether it comes to necks or mouthpieces, ligatures or whatever. Mainly, I use this for mouthpieces. You can find this from maybe $30 up to $100 or whatever you want to pay. I bought this on Amazon. This, for me, is actually quite good in weighing out some of these products, seeing what kind of balance it has on the saxophone, whether it's ergonomically better or worse. Okay. So obviously I do have my own merchandise. I have some t-shirts that are available. I go through Teespring to sell this merchandise. There should be a merch bar that pops up and I almost always put stuff in the description box below. Teespring at the end of August, 2021, they're gonna be making some upgrades to the quality of the products, which is going to affect the price. But I'm gonna see if I can circumvent that in certain ways. A lot of you have been asking me about the book. The Alto Altissimo book is finished along with the tenor altissimo book i'm still working on the tone production book that's coming along also there are a lot of you that have been asking me about a physical copy because right now i'm only doing a digital uh, copy of the books that's available for purchase i'm still looking into it at one point teespring was offering a sell anything like you make the product yourself send it to them and then they sell it I'm gonna see if they're still doing something like that but it can be a lot more affordable for me to just make the physical copies of the books myself send them to Teespring and then have you be able to buy a physical copy from them I'm looking into it I can't make any promises as of yet though Teespring has a weird kind of tier level that you attain based on how much stuff you sell, but they never actually tell you where you are. Something just magically shows up or it doesn't and whether you have the ability to do that or not. It's it's terrible. I hate it because I don't know what my status is. But with the books and the merchandise, I'm higher than where I was before. Uh, stay tuned for where I'm at with the physical copy of the book. But right now it is really difficult to do. <laughs> okay. I picked this up at uh, arts and craft store like Michael's or something like this. I think it was Michael's, but inside you can see I've just put some cloth in here to some of my cannonball stuff. I think I'm going to deck this thing out a little bit and then store reeds and stuff in here, maybe drill a hole and get some ventilation going. But these things are really nice as a little 
flap here where you can put a little mini lock or something like that. But this is a nice place to just store really cool stuff that you're probably not going to travel with. I like this a lot. Maybe put some glue or something like this. Maybe get my own Soralor Sacks insignia, some stickers and stuff like that going on in this thing. These are not expensive at all. You can get them for around anywhere five, maybe 50 bucks, depending on how elaborate you want to go with something like this. It's a nice storage device for your stuff in your dedicated practice room, which I think you should have in your apartment or your house. Have a room dedicated to just doing that. And when you're there, you don't mess around. Take the TV out, take the computer out, or your laptop, or turn internet off or whatever. Just <laughs> minimize your distractions in the practice room. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. See ya.